Trump just arrived at Kim Jong-un's doorstep and gave our troops surrounding NK a surprise of a lifetime. President Trump arrived in Asia late last week beginning his important trip to the eastern part of the world. The agenda for this critical overseas trip is to continue an open dialogue with Asian leaders concerning better trade deals to America, bring potential investors to the United States and to work on a solution for the ever-growing security and nuclear threat of North Korea. Now, President Trump has arrived in Seoul, South Korea which is right on Kim Jong-un's doorstep with these harsh words for the lunatic dictator and a surprise for our troops serving overseas. For years, the Obama administration allowed North Korea to get away with their threats to the world without any consequences. So, because of those actions. The crazed dictator has been able to acquire nuclear weapons and become a threat to the global community. When President Trump took office earlier this year, he promised that he would put America first and protect the country from these potential threats. As Kim Jong-un has pushed to start World War III, Trump has pushed back but remains optimistic that a resolution can happen. Many people have wondered how that can be possible considering that the rogue nation has conducted numerous ballistic missile tests since this past September. The Pentagon has even expressed concern that the unhinged dictator may conduct a missile test while Trump is close to show his military might to the world. However, despite the concerns expressed by the Pentagon, Trump remains confident that the issues can be resolved. Here is more from Bloomberg. President Donald Trump arrived in South Korea on Tuesday for a two-day visit, bringing him near North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on a stop that will also feature talks on a trade deal he says hurts U.S. workers. The second leg of his five-nation Asia trip includes a meeting with U.S. troops, a joint press briefing with President Moon Jae-in and an address to South Korea's parliament. In contrast to Trump's warm relationship with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, his dealings with Moon got off to a rocky start due to differences over trade and dialogue with North Korea. Getting ready to leave for South Korea and meetings with President Moon, a fine gentleman, Trump tweeted on Tuesday morning. We will figure it all out. Trump and Moon are likely to show a united front against Kim, even while underlying tensions remain. South Korea hosts more than 28,000 U.S. troops and relies on the alliance to deter a North Korean attack. Pyongyang's accelerated missile and nuclear weapons program, and a war of words between Trump and Kim, have ratcheted up tensions in North Asia to the highest level in decades. Nowhere is that tension felt more acutely than in Seoul with a metropolitan area of more than 25 million people and a location in striking range of the regime. The president will be the guest of honor at a lavish state dinner with Moon later Tuesday. First Lady Melania Trump, Secretary of State Rex Tirson and Jared Kushner will attend, as well as South Korea's foreign, finance and defense ministers. Other guests include SK Group Chairman Chi Tae-won and Hyundai Motor Company. Vice Chairman Chung Woo Sun. Not only is President Trump working on potential trade deals that can benefit America, but he is also doing what he can to quell the ever-growing tensions with North Korea. However, in the midst of all the chaos in this whirlwind strip, Trump took the time to show his appreciation to our military men and women in the region. During Trump's visit to South Korea, he met with the South Korean Foreign Minister Kang kyung wha for a short stay. Trump was invited to sit and eat with the South Korean leader, but POTUS opted out of the elegant meal and decided to visit those who have sacrificed so much. Trump and Secretary of State Rex Tirson flew by helicopter to where our troops were stationed and ate with our soldiers. I had a choice of having a beautiful, very fancy lunch, and I said no, I want to eat with the troops. And we ate with the troops said the president proudly, adding, and it was good eating. It was good eating. And I tell you, they've done a terrific job. Very impressive. The mainstream media will do its best to criticize President Trump and his trip to Asia, but that is to be expected by the liberal media. Though despite their critiques, it will be hard to find fault in a man that is doing his best to protect America, bring trade back to our country and a humble leader that would rather sit with our troops to pay his respect than having a fancy meal with world leaders.